weather warfare, weather warfare, the world is experiencing war, Greece, a Medicaid. I have never heard the term Medicaid. Apparently it is a, 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 a hurricane in the Mediterranean. Greece just got hit again with what is a Medicaid. And is this the consequence of that Medicaid? No, but I want to show you just a few minutes of all of the massive flooding that Greece has been experiencing just within the past 10 months. Not all of it, just glimpses of it. This, uh, this was 10 months ago. Greece. And I'm not exactly sure where. It's either Mandra, Athens, um, Corinthia. I'm not sure. Attica? Is that? I think I pronounced it right. Yeah, massive destruction going on in Greece. Boy, this doesn't stop, right? This 10 months ago? I've posted videos on this. It is so heartbreaking, horrifying to see how many lives are affected by all of this weather war warfare and very, very well, frustrating, maddening to realize how many people in the world refuse. I'm talking about those who are choosing willful ignorance because it makes them comfortable and lets them live their lives undisturbed until it disturbs them like this. Unbelievable. Uh, we're talking massive, massive flooding. This was, uh, what, two months ago? Or four months ago? And this Medicaid, I guess, has left Greece now and is on its way to Turkey another country that has experienced massive flash flooding in which you see an awful lot of cars and debris floating all over the place. This was two months ago. I believe this was right after the fires. Yes, those um, well, the new normal fires created by climate change, global warming. Oh boy, it was, it was absolutely a direct energy hit. And so many people lost their lives, their homes destroyed. And then they were hit with flash flooding afterwards. Isn't that great? Isn't it great? No, it is so not great at all. This too was uh, two months ago. Now I'm going to say it again for all of you who want to believe that this is the result of climate change, global warming. Please turn on your critical thinking in your brain. If it was climate change, global warming, well, you would not see this kind of radical change in the weather. It would happen incrementally. But I guess it's, it's so much easier. I know. I know. I'm not going to guess. It, I know. It is so much easier to just believe in lies because you don't have to do anything.
This was three months ago. Repeated flash flooding. Repeated. Ongoing. Uh, it's like No, this is not global warming. Now, we know also that it's not just Americans, but those in Western countries have been hit hard economically. And, you know, there are an awful lot of people who just don't have the money to recover anymore. 15 deaths. Okay. Well, let's get into our Medicaid. Ships destroyed, homes ruined, buildings flooded. After Cyclone Zorba batters Greece with winds of 55 miles per hour and torrential rain, I will link below to the article. Here we go again. Cars floating down. This is Greece. The latest flooding of Greece. This is Zorba. It just, it doesn't stop. And I still believe that if we in our respective countries didn't have a majority of our populations who are children who refuse to grow up, who will not face reality, who choose willful ignorance, and the choosing of that means that they are children, but they're, they're just not adults. They remain children and they enjoy, you know, living their respective com comfort. You know, they are unable to even consider that Weather is being used as a weapon. It is being used as a weapon. So let's listen to this, this uh, I guess, meteorologist from BBC. Tell us about a Medicaid. It's the kind of impacts that we see often from Category 1 hurricanes over in the United States or the Caribbean. And in many ways, this system is kind of like one of those. It's known as a Medicaid, a Mediterranean cyclone. And um, let's take a look at the satellite picture. We can see exactly uh, where it's been. And you can see there it is working into uh, the Peloponnese. And that was where we've seen the biggest impacts, really, in terms of the torrential rain, large and battering waves, and the flooding that we've seen as well, which I've even seen pictures of, you know, cars being floated down rivers that have just been inundated really so that's where the system's been today it's been very very rough across this part of uh, greece but across the whole of greece they've had a top level red warning uh, so it has been pretty serious widely and now the uh, storm itself is working northeastwards like hurricanes now that it's interacting with the land mm. the strongest winds are actually going to ease away pretty quickly but you can see the extent of the rain working in not just across greece but now into turkey as well we are likely to see some further localized flash flooding issues through sunday and into Monday as well, with the red weather warnings over the next few hours being downgraded to amber. But amber weather warnings, nevertheless, still in place throughout uh, Sunday, so we could see some further. Yes, localized flash flooding, localized in particular areas. But I want, you know, I, I've not, this is three hours and 45 minutes long. This is uh, Medicaid Zorba hits Greece and it is live. Look at, uh, it, it's clear to me that this is artificial, manufactured, but look at this and let me see if I can get it back. Can you see what appears to be like a face in this 
what is it? Just a, a, a blop of cloud in the midst of a lot of cloud? I don't, I don't know. But here's an eye. Here's the, the bridge of the nose. And a mouth began to develop, but here's the other eye. And I'm going to bring it back just about a, a minute. Okay, that's what it looks like a minute ago. And here it goes. Okay, what is that? It has, uh, doesn't have the characteristics of a natural cloud. It's flat on the bottom. But like the clouds here, it just begins to morph and turn gray. And then it starts to develop what looks like a friggin' face right here. Well, if anybody wants to observe this Medicaid coming in, I'm sure that it's filled with signatures that will reveal that this was yet another manufactured hit on Greece and Turkey. All right. Well, I want to show you one other thing. Wow, that looks like a dog. Are you seeing this? Whoop. Okay. Well, somebody was providing this live. Okay. Um, yeah, this is Greece. Today. Today. Again. Yeah, it, it. How is it that people are not even questioning how this could possibly be happening on a repeated basis? How are they not questioning what they are seeing? We didn't live this not too long ago. Now we're seeing this kind of flash flooding all over the world all over the world. You know, I've just now been concentrating on the United States and everybody has to concentrate on where they live and post these videos so that we can, you know, that we can see what's happening and these events are documented. But, you know, even trying to capture all of the flash flooding in the United States, it takes a tremendous amount of time because there are so many events taking place all over. Well, I had to pause you because a neighbor stopped by and now I can't remember where I was, but yeah, not good guys, not good. Not good at all, at all. And what's really not good is that we are at war and we can't, we can't get through to people. And this is the uh, rocking and rolling of this. Real muddy waters that are, well, we all know pristine and the unbelievable aqua green color. I don't like these uh, these truly uh, sick psychopaths that are doing this. <laughs> oh, that's an understatement. All right, I'm going to end with this. Now, this is a video of a water spout, a uh, damaging tornado water spout. Uh, this was in Greece, but check this out. 
this is slowed down um, down to 25. Now I know based on my research papers that I had read years and years ago they can use frequencies to lift to lift humidity from even just a small pond. You know I know that people have posted videos on um, the water disappearing, people claiming that the water is being lifted up. This actually looks like the water is being lifted up. It doesn't look like a water spout. Now, I'm sure people are going to be calling me crazy, but I know that frequencies can be used to lift humidity up from a small body of water and they can create a cloud that way. But it almost looks like we're seeing, you know, it looks like it's jerking. I don't know if it's the camera or if it's a frequency hitting that area. Let me, uh, yeah. Let me go back a little. Right here. It. I'm sorry. It does look like it's water being lifted up. Look at this bizarre cloud, too. So, I'm sorry. The leveling off of these clouds, frequencies are at use right here. And right here... You can see it. These are the signatures. Mother Nature does not operate this way. Mother Nature does not, you know, just shoot out these very defined um, points in her cloud. She's circular. She works in circular patterns. Now, It's right. And look how this thing is beginning to take different shapes. It's not moving. It's just sitting there. And it begins to morph into different shapes. Something's going on here. So um, let me know what you think. See how it just bursts up? You have to look again. There's little bursts in, on the right hand side too. But this just begins to like fill up. I'll show it one more time. Right here. And right over here. See? Little bursts. Boom. Boom. Okay, let me know what you think. All links are below. I'm so sorry to everybody having to suffer the consequences of this war. And I'm not going to say that it's anything else. Um, you know, I, I just so wish that people would begin to face reality that this is not global warming. It is not global warming. It is not climate change. Look how this spreads out. Well, this is man using the technology that um, has been studied and 
researched and experimented on and wow we've got incredible technology to control the weather let's do it so they're using it and they're using it to destroy could have been used for good but no no let's let's destroy when you have psychopaths in positions of power psychopaths who have an awful lot of money you can't expect a psychopath to do anything but destroy. That's what they do. They're really good at it, too.